Hey champions, good afternoon and welcome to the class. Hey Hari, Aditya, Defina, Shrikant. Good afternoon, Arnav, Pramukda, Shweta. Quickly tell your friends that the class has started so that we get going. Thank you, Shweta. Shweta is already letting me know that everything is working fine. Hey, Anik. Good afternoon, all of you. Good afternoon. I hope you all are doing perfectly fine. I hope it's a happy afternoon for all of you. Hey, Dilip Kumar. Good afternoon, all of you. Hey, Aditya is saying that he enjoyed YT free. I'm going to come to that point really soon. Good, good to know that. I can definitely smile now. Yes, Shrikant also got IT free. Awesome. Yes, Shweta, absolutely. Hey, Tanya. So today we will be having the complete chapter in one go. Fiber to fabric. So I'll be discussing all the essential ideas, all the important topics that are there in this chapter. So every slide is going to be super important because the questions would be asked directly or indirectly from all those slides. So you have to pay a lot of attention. This is going to be like the overview of the chapter. Bohat important class hai. Ek go mein pura chapter rajam khadam kar denge. That too in a very short span of time. Hey Pooja. And as you people were saying, you were telling me about YT free. So yes, Baiju's mini learning program, which many of you have already started exploring, is now for free by using this code YT free. And this is for a limited time period. So go grab this opportunity as soon as possible. All you have to do is there's a link in the description box. Click on the link. It will take you to the site, website that we have. Over there, you will see the introductory pack of three sessions. But the moment you will use this code, the fee would be waived off. Bilkul free ka ho jayega aapke liye ye. And you can schedule the class as per your convenience, whenever you want, whichever topic you want. Definitely go ahead and try this out. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Anik, for giving me loads and loads of green signals. Hey, Shri Lakshmi. Amazing, right? Yes, this is super amazing. You can actually unlock all the premium features we have for you, starting from, you know, two teacher advantage. You all, you all love the two teacher advantage that you see here in the live sessions as well, right? But, you know, in the live sessions, there are certain, you know, things that we cannot take care of. For example, one-to-one -one guidance. But over here, you'll get one-to-one -one guidance from your personal mentor also. Great. Okay, Aditya, I'm trying to decode. Why are you posting those emojis? Hey, Sarojini. Hey, Dilip. Not that long. You know, once you'll start enjoying the session, you need not worry that how long will go. Thank you, N.K. Pandey. Okay, Aditya Singh, today we'll post animal emojis. Chalo, theek hai. Chapter bhi thoda aisa hai. Fiber to fabric. Okay, done. Good to know that, Shweta. So yes, back to this YT free code. Quickly go, grab this opportunity, use this code and avail all the premium features that we have for all of you. And now, today, what are we going to do? Like, literally everything. Everything we'll be covering that's there in this chapter starting from wool to life history of silk moth, types of silk and from cocoon to silk. Everything would be covered. Great! But, 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 before I get started, you people have to give me a good to go. I can see some of you have already posting loads of green spheres, I would say. Hey, Kritika! Awesome. <laughs> okay. Aditya seems to be in a really happy mood right now. Hey, Vrinda. Hey, Shweta. Okay, Kriti. Someone's name Kriti out there. Good to know that. Hey, Defina. Thank you for giving me this green signal. All right. First class, I hope you love the class and then you'll have many more classes with us. Thank you, N.K. Pandey. 
ओके आई कैन सी शीप साउथ देर अनेक ओके ऑल राइट चलो शीप की मोजी जेर हो तो लेट स्टार्ट विद वूल नाउ सोर्सेज ऑफ नेशनल फाइबर्स can be plant based can be animal based we've discussed about these right so in grade 6 you came across cotton and you came across jute now in grade 7 you're studying about wool and silk now wool comes from sheep and many other animals actually then after a lot of steps they are being actually processed into woolen fabrics so no not at all srishti see the moment i read something from here definitely I'm not able to read the comment at that point of time, but definitely I have an overview for all the comments. Okay, Vivek Tiwari. Okay, Tanya, note it. Okay, Shweta, thank you so much. That's very sweet on your part. And yes. Guys, there's going to be a game also today. So stay tuned. We'll be playing a game together. You'll be helping me out in that game. So it's going to be a really interesting class. Full chapter in one go with the game. Okay, now over here, wool is obviously it's being obtained from the fleece of sheep and many other animals, right? Fleece means here. We all know that. Now this can actually be coarse beard here, or it can also be Fine, soft hair. Now, coarse means rough. We've discussed this, right? We obviously prefer the soft under hairs, and this brings us to a very important term that is selective breeding. So, this is actually a process of selecting parents for special characteristics that we want in the offspring. So, if there are certain advantages or you know special characteristics that we are looking for, in that case, we select the parents accordingly. Suppose we want a sheep with only fine under hair, so we have to choose the parents accordingly, right? So that is selective breeding. Hey, Anik, thank you so much. Yes, Vivek, I just took your name. Now you have to post loads of answers. Keep interacting, keep posting whatever we are discussing, and then only I take your name after this. All right. Yes, Shweta, correct. Okay, now. I say there are sheep and other animals also that are giving us wool. For example, camel. So the fur on the body of camel is used as is is giving us wool. Then of course, cashmere goat produces cashmere wool, and you know it can be we can have fine, very beautiful shawls out of it. Then we've got angora wool that we obtain from angora goat. This is something really famous in Jammu Kashmir, by the way. Then next we've got llama and alpaca. They are actually found in South America, and they also give us wool. And finally, yak is also common in Tibet and Ladakh. Yes, Tanya, correct. Anik, absolutely right. So you remember, there are so many animals that are actually giving us wool. Cool. I can see a lot of you remember so many of them. Yes, that's great. Awesome. So. Camel is giving us camel wool, and a lot of beautiful carpets are being made out of it, right? Cashmere goat giving us pashmina wool, and scarves can be made out of it. Shawls can be made out of it. Then, of course, we've got angora goat giving us mohair wool. Mohair means lustrous. That means it's going to have some shine. So it means lustrous. You'll see a lot of blankets that have a natural shine, like they look shiny. Have you ever noticed? If yes, they might be made from you know mohair wool. Correct. Pratiksha says I have camel wool. Yeah, absolutely. Now, how are we actually obtaining these? Well, there are some processes involved: rearing and breeding of sheep, and Processing of fibers into wool. We'll be discussing everything in one go, but I want to ask you first: What do you think is the meaning of rearing? We've discussed this, right? We've already discussed what rearing means. I want to see if you can actually recall what this term means quickly. Tell me in the comment section what's the meaning of this term, rearing. Let's see how many of you are going to answer this one. Shweta says, "Keeping, feeding, taking care, 
Rearing means care. Dilip Kumar says care. A lot of you are saying care. Kids learning mantra is also saying to take care. Anik says cutting. Cutting what? A lot of you are saying taking care, taking care, taking care. Usha is also saying this. Sportex is also saying this. To domesticate. Srishti. So, see, as humans, we all need food, we need shelter, we need health care. Animals ko bhi chahiye, yaar. And we are providing them that. So, in a way, we are rearing the animals. So, the process of keeping them, feeding them, providing them the medical care, that is rearing. So, basically, raising the animals. Yes, correct. Absolutely right. Hey, shearing is different from rearing. We'll come to shearing also. Don't worry. Now, usually... They are being fed with grass, oil cakes, pulses, corn. You know that oil cake is the material that's left, right? Once the oil is being removed from the seeds. That is what oil cake is. And by the way, you must have observed shepherds taking sheep for grazing. Have you ever seen this? Not in movies, like in reality. Let's see. How many raised hands am I going to get in this one? Aditya has seen great. What is also seen? Hmm, Shimla me dekha aditya ne. Pratiksha ne bhi dekha hua hai. Tefina wants to see it. Spotix has seen Pratiksha. Pramukta has not seen it, okay. Shweta has seen it, okay. Mix of answers. But we must have seen it in movies, if not in reality. Yeah? Now, coming to breeding. It's actually the process of selecting parents in order to have, again, certain characteristics in their offsprings. So, as we were discussing selective breeding just right now, right? So, that is breeding. It's basically to, you know, have a very good quality of wool in the offsprings. Hey, Usha, I can see your raised hand. Thank you so much for letting me know this. Awesome. All right. Now, coming to the processing of fibers into wool. So, the first step. Many of you were getting confused between rearing and shearing. So, there you go. You know what rearing is. Now, it's time to understand what is shearing. Shearing, it's the removal of fleece along with thin layer of skin. So, basically shaving off hair. That is what is shearing. And this is not going to hurt the animal. So, all the animal lovers out there, you can actually, you know, relax. It's not going to hurt them. Is there a mentee? Well, we have a lot of... Many sessions lined up for you. Don't worry about that. Pratiksha, two steps are going on. It's very big. Great. Okay, now this is being done usually in summers. See, all these animals, they have a thick coat of hair. And this hair is going to trap a lot of hair. Hair, we know, is a bad conductor of heat. So, all the heat would remain within, like near the body of the animal. Within the body, right? Now, because of this, obviously in summers, they'll be very uncomfortable. That is why shearing is being done in summers and in winters they definitely require that thick coat around them. So this can, this can be a question that can be asked in the exam. So they can just twist the question this way. Why shearing is being done in summers? So you should know the answer that during summers they don't require that kind of warmth, right? Yeah. Correct. Alright, next is covering. So basically, in this thorough washing is being done to remove dirt, grease, any kind of dust that's there. And you know, these days it's being done using machines. Aditya is saying, I once touched a sheep and it just ran away. Okay. Agar... हमेशा ही मेंटी होता तो मजा आ जाता अच्छा पहले पढ़ोगे तो मेंटी क्वेश्चन के क्वेश्चन अटेम्प्ट करोगे ना ये रतिका ऑल राइट सो द नेक्स्ट स्टेप दैट वी हैव लेट्स सी व्हाट्स द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इट इज सॉर्टिंग नाउ इन सॉर्टिंग ओवर हियर वी हैव यू नो सेपरेशन ऑफ हियर ऑफ डिफरेंट टेक्सचर्स Different textures are there. We need to separate them. We need to sort them. That is sorting. Really, really simple. Then next is removing burrs. So burrs are actually the small fluffy fibers that you have. So it's like the small fluffy fibers. And then they are being separated from the hair. You must have observed burrs on your sweaters also. How many of you have observed this? Sweaters are 
Study fun because you're a really good student. That's why. Yeah, you have. Okay. Then moving on, the next step, dyeing. Well, the natural fleece of sheep, it's black or white or brown. But by dyeing, we can actually have it dyed in different colors also. Because the wool that we see around us, it has a lot of colors, right? It's not just limited to black or white or brown. Hey, Pratiksha, birds are the fluffy fibers that you see. Sweater scooper kabhi note kara aapne ye? Should I saying, I always get angry why these threads are coming out of the sweaters. Okay. Anik's favorite process is to dye it in different colors. All right. The next final step is rolling. So the fibers are straightened, combed, and then they are rolled into yarn. So in a way, putting all the steps together for all of you, starting from shearing to scouring. The next is sorting. Then we've got removing burrs. Dying and finally rolling. I want to see loads and loads of thumbs up. If you remember all the concepts that are being discussed right now. Let's see. Loads and loads of thumbs up if you remember all these concepts about wool that we've discussed. Many of you are posting sheeps also. Okay. Great. Awesome. Good to see your confidence. Good to see that people are so attentive, so focused. The next topic that we've discussed is about silk. Now silk, we all know it's a natural fiber that we have and it's very famous for its shiny appearance. So luster means the shiny appearance it has. Strength, so it's actually the strongest natural fiber. So in case they just twist the question and ask you which is the natural strongest fiber, now you know that it is silk and durability. So it lasts longer as well. Now, silk is obtained from silkworms. Silkworms are basically the larval form. We've discussed about this, right? They're the larval form of the silk moth. Ma'am, your name is same to my one of the school teachers. Great! We have done this experiment, Shweta. Hey, Preeti. Hey, Anita. So, yes, it's the larval form. Larval form is basically, you know, the active, immature form of the insect. Now, they spin the silk fibers. You remember we've discussed a really interesting history. Basically, the life history of silk moth. How many of you remember the steps? Let's see. Is it me going to tell you you're going to tell me? Who is going to tell whom today? Shweta, Anita, you all remember. Okay. I see a lot of me, me, me. I, I, I. Of course, me. Of course, me. Chalo, first step, bata do kya hai. You people are actually writing me, so I will take it for granted ki pakka aata. Eggs. Okay. Thank you, Dilip, for guiding us right. So, yes, in the beginning, the female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs. So, there you go. That's the first step. After this, the caterpillar or larva, they're hatched from the eggs. So, hatch means to come out. So, they come out of the eggs, they grow in size and they weave a net kind of a structure to hold themselves. Yes, kids learning mantra. What's your name? Correct, yes. Absolutely right. So eggs are basically from the eggs, they come out. Good, good to see that. The next step I can see Priya is saying cocoon. So yes, the caterpillar secretes protein, basically fiber made of a protein. And then the caterpillar covers itself by silk fibers and this covering is known as Cocoon. So yes, you people are absolutely right. What's the next one? Dilip again. Dilip is the one who's again given the next step. Pupa. So yes, it changes into pupa. It turns into pupa. And then development of pupa continues inside the cocoon. Hey, Srishti, in which grade? If not in grade 7, let's see. Hey, Rieka. Correct. 
Kamran, Priya. CS Pro is really pro in this chapter. Hey Tanya, good to know that. So proud of you, Tanya. Yes, correct. Adult moth. Absolutely right. So there you go. All these steps are right in front of you, starting from the female silk moth laying hundreds of eggs. Then, you know, the caterpillar larva hatching from the eggs. Then cocoon formation is there. The covering is coming. Inside it, pupa is developing. And finally, the cycle continues. Awesome. Agrima, yes. Yes, my bad, Agrima. Absolutely, Aditya, this is going to be very useful for you. Then we also discussed about types of silk, right? Do you remember any type? We've discussed some types. Let's see. You can name any type that you remember. Maybe you can name the one which is like the highest quality silk. Let's see how many of you remember this. Correct! Yes, Mulberry! Tusser, Muga, awesome guys. Matlab, agar jab bhi chapter ka menti hoga na, I'm very sure you people will just nail all the questions. Sare question ke answers aap fata fata se de doge. So, Tusser, Muga, Kosa, Mulberry, these are the types, different varieties of silk that we have. Mulberry is by the way the highest quality silk. It's the most common also. It's soft, lustrous, elastic. It can be dyed in beautiful colors. Good. Yes, Vinita, you are absolutely right. So, Vinita is saying next, we will go to cocoon. From cocoon to silk, how are we moving? So, rearing of silk worms, you know, for obtaining raw silk is actually known as sericulture. So, we know this term. If they ask in the exam, we know what this means, right? So, silk worms are being reared in a way at some appropriate temperature, humidity. There are certain conditions. And that's how we get the silk threads. Yes, Agrima, absolutely right. So, you already know the initial steps, like the female silk moth thing, hundreds of eggs at a time. And then, the farmers keep these eggs under suitable conditions of temperature and humidity. And also, they try to maintain a lot of hygiene. Just like we... We require a hygienic environment. So, either we chahiye. Hygienic environment is really important for the proper development. So, conditions of temperature, humidity, hygienic environment, all these are being ensured. Then after that, when suitable temperature is being provided, what happens? The larva or caterpillar or silkworm, it comes out of the egg. And then it eats day and night and increase in size. Yes? Hey, Shanvi. Ishanvi. So, they keep eating, they keep eating, they keep, keep growing in size and they say about 25 to 30 days after. Then they stop eating. So, what happens after that? And then they start to spin cocoons. Like this, as you can see, silkworm spinning the cocoon. So, cocoons are used to obtain the silk fiber. Correct, yes. Yes, Pratiksha, Balvin, good evening. So, in a way, we have all the steps with us. Now, after rearing of silkworms, the next step is processing. And for that, let's do one thing. How many of you are interested to play a game? Let's see. Con con interested in game me because I think you all like to explore new things. Hey Ranjana, thank you so much. I see Aditya, Shweta, Anita, Agrima, Ronak, Pramukda, Priya, Balvin, Vinita. Super interested in this. Alright, so let's do one thing. Let's switch to the other screen and let's play a game. Defina, I can see your hands up.
You have to post loads of smileys, loads of thumbs up. Let me know how excited are you to play this game. Shweta is super duper excited. Many of you are excited. Hey, Pratiksha is posting loads of interesting emojis. Good to read that. Good to see that. Hey, Ritika. Okay. Quickly revise the steps that are involved in processing because somewhere you will be using them. We'll just take a while to switch the screens and just get the game started. Yes. All right. We'll just take a while. Let's see what the game is all about. Revise, so good to know that. Suspense creator. <laughs> All right, I can see a lot of suspense is getting created. Yes, Surinder, I can see you there. Ready, set, go. Yeah, we are almost done with this. Very soon we'll start with the game. All right, what do you see over here? So our friend Arya is there, okay. And Arya has been given a task that she has to, in a way, prepare silk fabric for queen and king. Now over here, we have to get started with this one. Now, let's help Arya to solve this puzzle. Can you all see the puzzle out there? Yes? Great, you all can see. Awesome. And you can see a lot of gates are there. We have to direct Arya to keep moving on the right path and we have to unlock the right gates for her. Hey, Srishti, quickly charge your tablet then. Yes. So let's get started. Now, do you see that start button out there at the top? And the yellow signs are there. That means from the beginning, we can either go to rearing or we can go to steaming or we can go to cocoon collection. Where do you want to go? What should be the first step? You will tell me, you will guide me and I will keep unlocking the doors. I'll keep, you know, correcting the right way. A lot of you are saying rearing, rearing, rearing. Or koi. Hey, Agrima, good to know that. All right. As you people are saying rearing. So let's. Unlock rearing and that is the correct answer. So yes, in the beginning, the female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs. We all know that. And then the caterpillar larva, they're hatched from these eggs. So yes, they just come out. Correct, guys. Then what happens? The caterpillar spins. Cocoon. Yes, it's a covering that's there. Great, guys. Absolutely right. And then it changes into pupa. So caterpillars, they feed on the mulberry leaves. They spin a cocoon. And then they turn into pupa. Development of pupa takes place. This process is rearing. So, the moment we've crossed one, you know, one gate, we've unlocked one gate. I want all of you to post one. That means one step in our pocket now. One gate we've unlocked. Quickly, loads of ones in the comment section. Then we move on to the next one. You will guide me. I see Shweta is already posting. Then you will guide me for the next one. Chalo. Now we are at the rearing wala gate. Should we move to the cocoon collection? Should we move to steaming? Should we move to reeling? Where should we go now? What should be our next step? Let's help Arya. So you tell me and I will mark the answer. What should be the next step? Some of you are saying steaming. Some of you are saying cocoon. I think Srishti, you can guide others also. I think there's a there's 
मिक्स ऑफ आंसर स्टीमिंग एंड कुकून रीलिंग तो कोई नहीं बोल रहा कम ऑन गिव मी वन आंसर इज इट गोइंग टू बी स्टीमिंग इज इट गोइंग टू बी कुकून कलेक्शन वीविंग कौन बोल रहा है यार Vinita is saying weaving. वहां से weaving directly कैसे जाओगे Look at the yellow marks. That's the way out from there. Okay, since all of you are saying cocoon collection, now I'm going to unlock this way and let's go. Yes, it is the cocoon collection. So cocoon are processed to obtain fine threads. You people are absolutely right. How beautifully this is happening, isn't it? Yeah. So all the cocoons are obtained after rearing are collected. They're taken up for further processes, and that's how we obtain the fine threads. So if you've got this one right, you know what to post. You have to post two. Let me see if you've got both the steps right. How many twos am am I going to get? Sure, that's posted loads. Okay. Great. Now the next step. What needs to be the next step? Let's see. Let's see. Tell me about the next one. Now this is quite an easy one. Is it going to be spinning or is it going to be steaming? Only two ways are out there. We just have to keep moving forward, right? Well, well, well. You people are super smart, super fast. Everybody is saying, "Ma'am, fatta fat se steaming pe click kar do." Yes. Great. Okay. Let's unlock the steaming and yes. So the temperature is in a way increased, right? You can do it by boiling. You can do it by providing steam. Whichever way it's being done, it's basically to reduce the stickiness. So pile of cocoons is basically is being used here to obtain silk fibers. They are boiled. They are exposed to heat, steam. Get under the sun. Basically, some way or the other, the temperature is being increased, and this is how the silk fibers are separated. Because of the heat, the stickiness is going to reduce, and it's going to be easy for us to separate the fibers. I see Agrima posting three already. Great! I was about to say that. Awesome! Now you know what I'm about to say also. Three, three, three. Okay, well done. Let's move on to the next one now. Okay, where are we? We are here. Okay, now we have three ways. We can go to spinning. We can go to weaving. We can go to reeling. What needs to be the next step after steaming? I can see yes, Jaya Shankar. Definitely, I can see loads and loads of threes that you're posting. Next step, guys. Tell me in the comment section what needs to be the next step now. Spinning, weaving, reeling. Reeling हो गया अर्नव ओके मे बी यू वॉन्ट टू राइट रीलिंग बिकॉज ऑल अदर्स आर राइटिंग रीलिंग 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 ग्रेट दिस जस्ट यूनानिमस वोट फॉर रीलिंग सब रीलिंग कह रहे सब ने बहुत अच्छे से रिवाइज करे चलो रीलिंग को अनलॉक करते हैं लेट्स ओपन दैट गेट एंड येस रीलिंग इज द करेक्ट आंसर सो द थ्रेड्स Are taken out from the cocoon, as you can see. Correct, yes. And then they are being used. Good, awesome. So this is what happens in reeling, right? So you remember the process. It's being done using special machines nowadays. Good to know that. Four, 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 four in the comment section. Awesome. A lot of fours. A lot of fours. You all are getting all the answers right. क्या कि बस ऐसे ही नंबर लिख रहे हो. Okay, next what do we have? Well, easy peasy one. Is it going to be spinning? Is it going to be weaving? Two really easy options. I mean, this is like the straightforward one. Shweta is saying spinning को lock करा जाए. Nice one, Shweta. Everybody is saying spinning. Good. Hey, Srishti. Awesome. Anna, Agrama, Pratiksha, Kamran, Defina, Vinita. Everybody is voting for spinning. So, then, absolutely, spinning. Can lock it. And this door can unlock it. So, let's unlock this door. And ta-da! 
spinning so the silk fibers are converted into yarn and this process is spinning so spinning is being done so formation of threads are taking place here from the fibers correct guys yes we've got the yarn now just one more step let's see what the next step is okay sabse easy sabse masoom step reh gaya hai should we go back to reeling or is it weaving let's see shall i think of the bachai weaving hai no no but they are also saying look at the yellow part we might go back to reeling they're trying their best to confuse you you have to know the concepts really well weaving last chance of weaving all right let me go for weaving here and tada weaving and finally it's woven into a fabric and clearly you can see two different sets of yarns are being used awesome guys so yes finally we've got the silk fabric here with us and i can see loads of you writing 66666 you've got all of them right so i think we all have really helped arya you've helped me and i could help arya in making wonderful silk fabric for the king and the queen seems really happy by the way so well done guys this is awesome so should i saying the yellow part was confusing us but we are very smart we know it's weaving good awesome all right let's go back to the main screen now so you people have actually in a way you know everything that we've discussed in the previous classes so good to know that awesome beautiful fabric yeah and beautiful attempt by all of you well done i want loads of you know clapping there in the chat box happy faces i can see <laughs> ग्रेट यस यू डन इट परफेक्टली फाइन यार बहुत जल्दी से बहुत बढ़िया सा फैब्रिक बना दिया हम सब ने यस शोभा वी विल डेफिनेटली कंडक्ट मेंटी डोंट वरी अबाउट इट अच्छा अनिता सिंह बहुत मजा आ गया तो मेंटी कर लेते हैं Okay, so yes, as we've discussed, the processing of silk has all these steps. The cocoons are first exposed to heat. so that you know the stickiness reduces then of course the threads are taken out from the cocoon then the silk fibers are converted into yarn then they are further woven into the fabric all right so if you've liked the game if you've liked the session first of all i want you to hit the like button that's there party time okay yes because we've made a wonderful a beautiful silk fabric great मतलब बहाना चाहिए पार्टी का फटाफट से ये वीडियो लाइक कर दो फटाफट से यहाँ पे मुझे एक थम्सअप दे दो सो दैट आई नो दैट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड वट एवर वी डिस्कस्ड हम्म गुड बस मेंटी आई आई थिंक अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट मेंटी All right I can see a lot of you posting smiley faces so thank you so much for being there and yes we've got you covered we'll keep coming back with amazing sessions amazing videos amazing games for all of you and for the ones who've joined us late for the mini learning program there is a code yt free so check this out use this code and you can unlock all the premium features just like we were kind of unlocking and you know making our way forward to the correct gate Similarly just unlock all the features that are there and enjoy learning in the most innovative manner starting from having the advantage of two teachers to personal guidance interactive life classes assessments the topic of your choice would be there the timing will be according to you i think all good things are coming out of it so ek try to definitely banta hai use this code yt free and i'm sure you'll leave the class in a very happy mood then But hey, this is for a limited time period, so quickly, quickly avail this offer. And for the ones who've not joined Telegram yet, quickly go. There's another link in the description box. Join Telegram also. So all the session updates, all the important updates are right there. 
you can actually send your expressions also so we we really enjoy when you are really enjoying all those updates so join telegram so that we can connect more and yes of course now you know what to focus on so keep working hard and i hope you've already liked this video you've subscribed to the channel you've hit the bell icon also yes great now that we've mastered in this chapter we want a menti quiz okay note it note it chweta all right guys so go ahead revise everything properly keep working hard keep smiling and i'll see you in the next session take care bye bye